of child pornography this afternoon. In 2015, Paul Mumford retired from Tampa PD as a sergeant. After retiring, Mumford became a reserve officer with this department. He was relieved of that duty in February, shortly after this investigation began. In December, Tampa PD received a tip that Mumford was in possession of child pornographic images, and we immediately launched an investigation. Beginning in January, detectives executed a series of search warrants at Mumford's two homes and recovered disturbing evidence, pictures of child pornography. They were stored on numerous electronic devices belonging to Mumford. Mumford worked in Tampa PD's sex crimes unit from 2008 to 2009. At this time, we do not have any information that indicates he obtained any of the images from the department. However, this is still a very active and ongoing investigation. We will always operate at the highest level of accountability and transparency because that's what our community expects and that's what the community deserves. The actions of this retired officer do not represent the brave men and women of this department who go out and risk their lives on a daily basis to keep this community safe. I feel confident that I speak for all Tampa PD officers tonight when I say that this case is disturbing and disappointing to say the least, but we at this department operate as a family and together this family will weather this storm and we will continue to serve the citizens of this community with honor and integrity. Thank you. I can't use any other words other than disappointing, disturbing. Um, you know, it, it's just shocking to say the least. I think that the tie between the two, I would hate to take that leap. Um, let the investigation reveal that. Well, back then, when um, sex crimes detectives worked cases, they were primarily sexual batteries and child abuse cases. The Internet Crimes Against Children unit is fairly new, long after Sergeant Mumford retired and worked in that unit. So I don't even know if he had access to or worked any child pornography cases. Again, the Internet Crimes Against Children unit is, was formed right around 2015, 2016. I don't have that information in front of me. Um, we received a tip that he had um, a device that had the images on it, we were able to recover the device and find it, and that's what launched this investigation. Yeah, again, he retired many, many years ago. He was a reserve officer on our reserve force, which as you guys all know are volunteer officers. He was immediately suspended from his duties, and then we you know, completely relieved him of, of all duties in February and cut our ties with him. As far as we know right now, it's just photographs, so we really can't tell where the victims are located. As in many of these cases, a lot of the victims are located um, overseas, so we have to work with the um, other agencies to kind of identify who the victims even are, if that makes sense. No, there were personal devices that belonged to him in his, in his home. One's in Hillsborough County and one is in North Florida. Is 
yes, I want my officers to know that we can we can weather this storm together. We don't tolerate this kind of behavior. This is not this is not uh, a tolerable behavior by a Tampa police officer. We're going to continue to serve with honor and respect, and we're going to treat everyone with dignity and respect. And this is going to be a an anomaly case. Our, our reserve force is a volunteer force. They um, typically help at special events like managing traffic control. Um, they have to do a certain number of hours per month in order to maintain reserve status. As for his specific duties that he was doing, it really could be a, a, a myriad of things. So again, we just use them as support because they're voluntary and they're not paid. How old is Paul? 61. Um, he left TPD in 2015 and he became a reserve officer right afterwards. So he's been a reserve since, since he retired in 2015. Thanks everybody.